Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. Today we're gonna to talk about is sealing all of the vents the best option when you're encapsulating the crawl space and controlling humidity. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, and if you're new to the channel, you may not know because a lot of contractors don't know this, is that encapsulating the crawl space and what we mean by encapsulation is properly installing a vapor barrier on the ground up the walls, overlapping taping, mechanically attaching, and even insulating the walls in most cases, then installing a dehumidifier and sealing the vents, okay? That is what we as Crawl Space Ninja deem as an encapsulation, okay? So that being said, if you have a home that you have soil gases, you've got methane, you've got carbon dioxide, you've got radon, you've got all these things percolating out of the earth, and coming up into your crawl space. If you completely seal that crawl space, vapor barrier does not stop those gases from coming up. It is a vapor barrier, not an air barrier. And then every time you cut the plastic or the fasteners come loose or the adhesive fails, then it just allows those vapors, including humidity and soil gases to enter the crawl space. So what's the solution? According to the EPA, now in certain parts of the country, they don't recognize this as far as code, and in some part of the parts of the country, this is code, where according to the EPA, you should move one CFM of air for every 50 square feet of crawl space out of the crawl space. Now, we did a video, where does that makeup air come from? I'll do a, a link down below so you can check that out. The point is, is that if you totally seal that crawl space and don't give that soil gas somewhere to go, if that soil gas has any kind of odor or any kind of carbon dioxide or radon or anything else, it's going to enter your house. It's got nowhere to go. It's going to go up. The stack effect causes it to go up. Remember, the stack effect or the chimney effect is that air enters the bottom of your home, your crawl space or your basement, and then exits the roof. That's typically how it moves. A storm, if you got a heavy wind blowing, it may affect it a little bit, but for the most part, during all seasons, the air goes in the bottom and moves up and out. So you don't want that air that is potentially harmful to you and your family to be coming up into your living space. So one CFM of air for every 50 square feet. Now, if you've got a radon problem, totally different situation. You should install what's called a sub-membrane radon mitigation system and i've done some radon videos if you want to look at those as well talking about the health effects of radon it's the number one cause of lung cancer among non-smokers if and not every part of the country is affected by radon but many parts are so you want to make sure you're properly ventilating that crawl space so what we do is we take a lamanco pcv1 fan it's about 110 cfm fan we put it in one of the foundation vents seal all the others and then have the air blow out all the time, 24 seven, even in the winter, because the, the crawl space is sealed so well that the uh, temperature isn't gonna change with how we encapsulate and properly insulate the crawl space. Now the Lamanco PCV1 fan does have a built-in switch where if it gets too cold in the crawl space, it will shut off. I believe that's around 35 degrees but none of our crawl spaces that we've encapsulated typically get below 60 degrees because most of the time you have your HVAC ducts that are also pumping heat in there while it's encapsulated. So make sure when you hire someone to encapsulate your crawl space, they don't just seal all the vents and stick in a dehumidifier, that they seal all the vents but one, have that ventilation happening, and that way you can address those soil gases while also controlling humidity. I'm Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We hope you make it a happy and blessed day, and we'll see you later.